Hey guys, it's Wayne. I just wanted to do a real quick video update for you and let you know one little project that I've been working on. It's a, um, a aquaponics grow tower, or a hydroponics grow tower rather, um, but it's a grow tower made out of all repurposed materials, so let me show that to you right now. So what I have is an aquaponics grow tower, or in this case I'm going to start off with it being a hydroponics grow tower, and it started out with just repurposed wood. Um, this is deck board here at the bottom and I have ripped it down to size and put an angle on each end to get it to lift up uh, in the middle and created legs out of that. Just a regular 2x4, it came off the same deck and just a piece of 2x4 that's cut with a bevel on top to keep the water from puddling. And then the paint uh, is acrylic paint that we picked up for free on Craigslist. So uh, that's incredible. Second thing, the bottles, uh, all of these bottles obviously, again recycled material or repurposed. And let's dig into exactly how we've built this uh, from the ground up. So let's start with the bottom bottle. Um, the bottom bottle is a piece of the uh, two liter bottle that's cut off just at the line um, right above where the label would be on the bottle. And that's simply because I needed something to stabilize the bottle above it and I screwed a screw in there. You can see just in there um, I screwed a screw in and then set the next bottle on top of it and each one of the grow bottles, there's seven of them on each side, each one of the grow bottles have been cut just below, if you were to turn this over, just below where the um, the label would have been for the Mountain Dew bottle and uh, so on. So there's seven grow bottles and each one of them has a hole drilled into the side and I used an inch and a quarter hole saw. I tried several different methods and from what I can tell a hole saw works the best um, and if I had to do it again I would use an inch and a half but I wasn't going to go out and buy uh, another bit. Um, and I staggered the hole from one side to the other so this side has a hole and then the bottle above it has a hole here and then so on. The bottle above it, back over here, all the way up. And the same will hold true over here. Now let's jump back real quick and I'll show you how I mounted it. Very simple. I just used a single screw and screwed it into the center line of the board and then the next bottle will set down on top of it and I'll do the same thing all the way up. I also did not use um, the coca-cola shaped bottles for the simple fact that I wanted it to look nice I want it to be aesthetically pleasing when it's done and I want it to be functional and this shape of the bottle although um, they are built uh, with better plastic I feel it, it would be hard to go ahead and put that hole saw in for the grow holes so and, and even this I found that it was hard to cut uh, this hole and I simply had to cut that hole in there so that I have access to the screw on the back side. I still need to cut a hole in the top to run plumbing down and this bottle will technically not be functional for growing. If I need to I can put some filter media in there when I do um, uh, decide to make it an aquaponics uh, system and or I can add a swirl filter to the top of this so that there can be a swirl filter and then the discharge will hit both sides. I can also expand it if I think that I want to I can expand it and add a third and a fourth row on both of the other sides. So technically the way this sets right now I could uh, once I finish it I could grow 14 plants but I could double that to 28 plants if I think that the reservoir uh, which would be mounted down here can handle that many um, and or the pump can handle that much uh, water drainage. Um, let's see what did I miss? Oh, for the caps, and, and I don't know if you can see this, but each one of these caps I've drilled five 1 16th inch holes which allows for a controlled flow and if you go and look at my uh, Google Plus page, there's an album on there that is this project 
and it, there are still photos of each one of this, uh, the, each step along the way that I've shared with, uh, with you guys publicly. So please come over to my Google Plus page, um, take a look there, circle me on Google Plus so we can communicate a little bit more frequently than what I can with my videos. And um, until next time, God bless. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share my videos so that we can all help each other to change the world. God bless.